Hi everybody and welcome to Penfinity. My name is Wes Levani2 and today I'm gonna break down the previous video to show you how I create the dynamic cuts um, on the, on this mesh. So to do that trick, uh, we only need two nodes and let me show you uh, which one. So the bevel modifier and the mask modifier. This is uh, the uh, these two nodes we're going to use to create that. So the, the trick consists of masking uh, the, uh, the edge loop we don't want. And uh, to do that, we have to uh, play with the vertex group of uh, those modifiers. So to that, I'm going to create a first group with the edge loop I want to mask like this. As you can see, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to invert. Uh, oops, let me invert the selection and assign this uh, this selection to another mask, like this. So now we have the edge loop here. For example, I can rename it edge loop, and this one masking. So now with the mask modifier, I'm going to select this one. And what, what it's going to do is going to hide everything from the scene except all the vertices uh, in this vertex group. So if I activate it right now, as you can see, the edge loop will disappear. So how uh, I was able to have a perfect cut, it's really simple. You have to put a boundary. Of, on, on the mask and this is where the bevel will uh, um, will act so to do that look, as I said I need to put boundaries so to, to make a boundary I simply have to let me select the edge loop so I will have this let me put that to zero because I will not need profile and now I will have that as boundaries so so the the mask will not uh go over these two edge but if i activate it right now as you can see nothing will happen and the reason why is because the edge in in the middle uh, uh disappear by using the the default value of the bevel modifier so to make it work i have to increase uh, from another segment to make uh let me show you this segment appear and the mask will work only on this one so this is it this is as simple as that so a bevel with a vertex group of this edge loop and the in uh, the invert selection on the mask group and you will have this effect so let me push that a little bit i'm gonna apply a solidify on it and create it like this and let me put another bevel modifier i'm going to use now another bevel modifier but with the angle this time to create the dynamic uh, support edge loop and that's the really to me the badass part let me I can put one, two, three, if I want like this. But to me, this is really cool because uh, here I, I, uh, um, I'm going to put a profile to one. So let me increase that like this. And as you can see, I will have a perfect support edge loop like this. That's really crazy to me. <laughs> really, really badass. So now, as you can see, I have what I show you in the previous video. So a dynamic cut and with a perfect result like this. And I can, of course, if I want to, to make the, 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 um, the edge uh, more round, all I have to do, of course, is to, um, I can lower, for example, the, I can lower the profile 
Let me, I can lower the profile to 0.5 and let me, and I can increase like this. So it will be a little more round. If I remove another edge, it will be really round like this. So I can make it really round. And I can increase to make it less round and decrease the bevel to make it really sharp. Like this. And if, for example, let me disable the subsurf. I just convert it to a final mesh and I just had, I will have it already, I, already uh, ready for production and I, uh, I don't need to do that manually. But that's really a kicker to me. So uh, this is the problem I have now. Uh, I'm just starting out to learn Python. It's not my priority. I just want to do some quick stuff in the future. So if one of you um, is as really a uh, good skill uh, in Python scripting, and I'm thinking about my friend uh, C C Cedric uh, Lepillier, who created the asset management, the really badass asset management uh, add-on. So man, if you have uh, some few times to make, uh, because the first part is really easy. Uh, you, you can create that only by copy paste the command and it will do uh, everything in one click for you. But the problem is um, when I want to add another edge loop, so I have to select the edge loop and I have to uh, remove it from the mask and add it from the edge loop to, to add it like this. And my problem is to create a script allows me to do that. If I want to add another edge loop, just uh, select it, one click, it's done. So if one of you have some really good Python skill, you're welcome to uh, give me a solution. I will be glad to uh, to hear about it. So uh, if not, I, I will continue on my spare time to, to develop a, a quick shortcut for this one. Uh, and uh, and uh, not a shortcut, but but a quick add-on for this one. And uh, another thing I forgot to mention. So uh, if I increase, uh, on on this bevel modifier for, for the support edge loop, put it at 32 instead of 30, because sometimes you will have some sharp edge like this on angle like this. So, so to make it clean at 32, it will be perfect. And look at this. When you create another edge loop, you will have the, the support edge created automatically. That's crazy. Really, that's crazy. So this is it for this uh, trick. So I hope it was informative. As always, if you have any question, don't hesitate to put uh, comments um, on uh, below the video so like the video of course if, if it was informative to you and uh, you can uh, also send me an email at info.painfinity.com and uh, yeah that's it for today and see you soon everybody